Hi there guys, Roscoe back with another review and this time it's of the Prime One Studios Jungle Hunter Limited Closed Mouth Bust uh, or Premium Bust as they describe it. I've had this piece for a little while now, I uh, just haven't got around to reviewing it. Uh, surprisingly enough the statue came ultra fast when Prime One released it but this one took a little while to come in through my local supplier. Um, even after the original one I ordered through Prime was cancelled due to the uh, Australian battery laws or the issues that most people might know of by now. But uh, here he is. It's actually quite a heavy little, but it's not a little bus, but it's um, for its size, it's surprisingly heavy. Um, it's sort of like the, probably the most important part uh, for me for this piece, uh, besides the, uh, the mast head. Uh, it's the reveal face, which, you know, I'll get to shortly, but here it is here. Let's go take a closer look. So just like with the, um, the statue saw, you've got a few options. You can remove the um, cannon, remove the shoulder med kit area. Got all the quills. <clears throat> Loving the armor, the green sort of patterning on it. This one's got probably a little bit more of green hues on it than the actual statue, which I quite like. So it comes in one reasonably sized box. So you've got basically the torso. It's all one piece that's all connected to the um I've sort of a bit of a size comparison with my hand. Um yeah, that's basically all one piece here. It's already pre-assembled, the quill's are already put on, everything in the factory. So that's quite heavy. Um, it's got some really good um, sort of rubber feet and they really grip to whatever desk you put it on. Um, you get the head sculpt, uh, the gun or the plasma gun cannon. You get the sort of med kit backpack area and you get this little lid, which I'll open up later and the two little um, pieces for the med kit, which didn't actually come with the um, full scale statue. For me, uh, the money shot is this. That's the absolute money shot for this piece. Um, I'm gonna say it right now, but I've got plenty of Sideshow pieces, Infinity, all that stuff, Prime One. Um, this is in Naupad Necker. Um, like far lane predators throughout the years, canna, everything. Um, this is the most accurate jungle hunter sculpt we've ever got. And I've got customs from some of the most amazing custom artists that do these busts uh, or heads. Um, but this is nailed. No one's done it better. The closed mouth option anyway. You get your necklace as well. This sort of necklace here. This one here with the bone, so the bandolier, and you get this sort of modified bandolier. It's not the same as what's on the statue. It's very similar to the cinema cat type of um, bandolier. It's like a little small one. In actual reality, the real one is, or the one that's on the one through the uh, statue is a lot bigger. and needs to sort of go up his back. Now, a lot of people have it hanging around the side. Uh, it shouldn't be hanging on the side. Should almost be starting here and climbing up his back, but you can't do it with this one, obviously, because it's so small. All right, so here's another angle. Now, I've, you've probably heard of people having to use hair dryers. I know Prime One have mentioned that you know a lot of the dreads were sort of curving in; they look really bunched up. Um, a lot of the quills are squished from being in the packaging over time, uh, changing temperatures, they sort of just hold their position. Um, this one, when I got mine out of the box, a lot of the quills on the sort of the chin area, sort of the cheeks, were a little bit bent. They weren't sort of bent folded, but they were just curved quite a bit, especially those ones there. These ones are the ones here. Um, so, okay, I'll try the hairdryer trick, and honestly, I put the hairdryer on heat, uh, put it on them, and they just straightened out within two or three seconds. It was absolutely amazing. They all just, I didn't need to worry about the top, but just the ones on the side here that were bent, they were all corrected using a bit of heat. 
I didn't need to cool them down. I didn't need to touch them. Um, they just sort of went back, went back to place. So Prime One had some good advice there. I know a lot of people were spending all this time trying to straighten the dreads as well. Um, you don't really need to do all of them. Um, I just put some heat on, on here and they just slowly curved out on their own uh, and just fell naturally. If the head doesn't go on quite, you know, well, it's a little bit sort of, you know, high. It's usually because of the dreads are sort of causing that resistance. So heating up the dreads will help you put the head on. I didn't have that many dramas with getting the head on at all, but I just put the hair dryer on this side just so they look like they fall naturally, just to the, the front view. The back look fine, the side look fine, they rest on, on there anyway. So I just had these couple here, I just held out when they were a bit warm. And as soon as it sort of cooled down a little bit, I just let them go and they just seem to fall naturally straight with gravity. So looks a lot better now. And honestly, I spent five minutes doing it. It wasn't a massive task. So if you're looking at making it look a little bit better, not looking like he's slicked his hair, you know, back and then defying gravity a bit and giving you that more movie accurate look, just put a bit of heat with the hairdryer and uh, does wonders. I had a lot of these quills here as well. They were a little bit folded, not folded, but uh, sort of curved as well from the packaging because they do stick out quite a fair bit. Heat on that and they all just sort of lifted up and straightened out. So if you've got this piece and you do have that issue, hairdryer is an easy fix. Try and get in there, they've, it's gonna distort a little bit with the camera cause I'm getting a bit too close, but they've done the um, sort of lopsided eye, which, you know, a lot of people that are unaware of, you know, I've had to mention to a lot of people where everyone's like, oh, something's wrong with the eye, Prime One painted it wrong. But I was like, you know, don't send it back. This and Predator fans have been wanting this sculpt for years, you know, so it's basically the, the fact that when they filmed, if you watch the, the trap scene, the um, the mask wasn't sitting on Kevin's head properly. It sort of, it sort of misaligned, so it gave this effect that his eye was, um, you know, something was wrong with his eye and it was out of sort of whack. But I think that added to the creature, just gave him some more individuality. It didn't look, it made it look less like a suit and more like some sort of creature that had, you know, different eye issues to us, so. Um, yeah, they've captured that. It's hard to see, it's just a little bit too dark there for my camera to capture, but they've nailed that look. They didn't do it on any of the others because that wasn't really shown on other scenes, but this mask with the mouth closed, it was shown. So once again, they've just nailed that, um, that expression. All right, so this is with the med kit removed. So pretty strong magnet holds it on. As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't come with the actual statue. Um, you, I think you can switch it out so you can have another statue. Um, there's the lid for it, you know, quite decently sized and weight to it. Got these, all the tools, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm pretty sure the, a lot of these were all, um, you know, veterinarian tools from memory. Um, I think that's an umbilical cord scissors, you know, they just trimmed the circles off it. There's a few other things there that, you know, a lot of veterinarians would know of. A bit, or, you know, much older versions of what you can get now, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, probably the only nitpick for me for this whole piece is it's cool they've included this, but it's not film accurate. Uh, a lot of other companies have done it where once this opens up, it actually slides this way. So you can see the interior, that's probably what should happen. This is more like a little... It gives me that vibe of a you know DVD package. You open up the box and you pull the individual discs out. Um, you yeah, know this should have moved. Sorry, it was focus, but yeah, slide out, whatever which way it slides, and um, and it's very underscaled. So you know it's it's cool. It's a cool little gimmick, but it's not gonna you know it's not sure if it's a movie magic where it wouldn't have fit properly in the suit. They've just showed you a separate um, kit that looked larger. But obviously it wasn't his back, similar to his, you know, head sculpt. After you take the mask off, the the face wouldn't be under it, just for proportion issues. Um, so yeah, mate. But that's just one little nitpick. It's you know not really. I think Hot Toys did one where it sort of slides out, um, and severely underscale, as I mentioned. So look, there's the hand off the statue. There's no way that hand is grabbing those scissors properly, or these little 
see his hair in these parts. They're just the hands are way too big for the um for the tools. So yeah. Pretty cool that they've included it. Um but yeah, a bit of a proportion issue. As I said, whether it's movie magic or in the film, you know, they would have been that tiny in his backpack and they've just shown you a larger format, you know, on the tree when he's fixing his leg. Um I can't say for certain, but That's just a few more thoughts on um, this extra piece here. Also just noticed, sorry, when I did put it back together, it does have this sliding section. So I stand corrected with the being it slides, but it doesn't hold on or lock in. It's sort of just, you have to rest it in that slot for it to um, stay in. Yeah, but I think the ones I've seen in the past from other companies are spring loaded. They sort of, you know, spring back out and things like that so they and they stay together but yeah slides up so you can put that back in now so i think it just sits just like that i think i've got it straight and very strong magnet there that's how it gets put away so here is the rear view of the piece. So to keep the weight down, they've you know not sculpted the whole back of the Predator, it's sort of like a curved in bust look. So the strapping that goes around it for the bandoliers. Dreads are nice and shiny and slick, wet looking, which is great. So this one is called the limited version. It was limited to 500 pieces. So only 500 people that have the statue will be able to display this head at a maximum, unless you bought it just individually. And I know the battle damage that I've also getting, um, it wasn't film accurate, but it's to go sort of with time with the Berserker Predator. Um, that's limited to 100. And so is the open mouth and the um, mast version that they're doing as well. But no need to get those because we I have those with the statue, but with the whole complete package, only 100 people could possibly have every single head sculpt and part. So I'll review that in future, the battle damage. Not much to it, it looks pretty similar to whatever else has got, just has that open cavity on the side of the mask showing the eye. But yeah, it's funny how they call this the limited version, but it's limited to 500. And the ones that aren't limited are limited to 100 so a bit strange but yeah this is very popular and sold out very fast which we knew it was going to so so here's your assembly instructions which i ended up with two of them so i can show you both sides at the same time Just showing you the parts there how to assemble it all do this for those people that might want to have a quick look before they unbox theirs. Showing where to put the cell batteries for the light function in the plasma cannon. Exactly the same as the um, statue. Yeah, so this is showing over this side the um, all the individual pieces where they are in the box and just some um, shots of the piece itself All right, so here's the art box Predator Premium Bust show 100 Predator limited version mine is number 85 of 500 some precautions I like this side better. This is the better side for me. Very cool. And finally, something that you know I can unbox that doesn't take up half the, the room to unbox. So it's cool that's quite compact. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. So I hope you enjoyed this video of this. Closed mouth bust or extradition to the full 1-3 scale statue. 
uh, because the heads are interchangeable if people aren't aware. Very cool piece. Congrats to those who've already got it. I know a lot of people have it by now. It did sell out very fast in pre-order and once it was released, you know, not many went up for sale. It is, if you do see it, it is going for crazy amounts. It's starting to skyrocket, so. Yeah, congrats to those. This is the definitely the um, most accurate protoscope we've got on any license piece, so. Very happy to finally have it enough to collect any predator for as long as I have to have Scott looking like this. So, thank you, Prime One. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.